All right, everybody, welcome back to a uh, what is supposed to be a very super special hour long episode of Victoria 3 as the United States of America. I set the like goal of 500 likes per and uh, I'm actually only uh, only released episode three up to this point. But you guys reached it for all three very handedly. So I'm going to give you this one. If you uh, if you appreciate this, please make sure you leave a like on this video and maybe for episode 11. We will get a long episode as well. Either way, uh, there's been a couple of changes. I've, I've got a couple of graphics mods installed. None of this is set in stone. Uh, this is just a clean map, I think is the name of this mod, and a couple of font mods, mostly for you. I also scaled up the UI because I got a lot of feedback uh, that my UI was too small. So I scaled that up. Uh, so hopefully these, this font mod makes things a lot easier for you guys to see. Um, I got a couple of color mods like the Ottomans and, the, and Prussians or they should be slightly different colors making it a little prettier um, So hopefully that works for you guys. Hopefully either way today We need to figure out we also got a clock mod because I thought this one looked nice in order to get this guy here This uh, parallel mod uh, where are we at here? Uh, in, in the Oregon border dispute you see here. We need to have uh, Western frontier has been mapped so obviously or own it all ourselves we are currently going to actually start this up here uh, and I am going to go ahead and get started on this because we are no longer at war so we can map the American frontier and uh, we are going to send uh, let's see here ideally it'd be somebody who is an explorer mm hmm I don't have an explorer so let's send our admiral that way if war does break out we can uh, we can fight it as needed and we also need to take a look and kind of figure out oh my goodness okay so our uh, market is pretty solid. Let's go ahead and export some coal. Honestly, we can export basically all this stuff. Though a few of these things, like, like glass, I think I'm going to hold on to the supply just because we don't really want to lose too much. Uh, but we do need to hold on to this. So let's go ahead and get a couple more motor industries. Oh, just kidding. We need our motor industries to be more useful. So let's see here. Uh, it looks like North Dakota is a... Uh, just not gonna not gonna cut it in terms of uh, population here. There's just not enough unemployed people. I don't. I think. Oh, no, there's a lot of peasants here. Okay, so I think it's just gonna be an issue. Uh, it's more an issue rather of waiting for things to kind of fill out here. Um, we also need to make sure we are getting our our stuff all sorted out here with that. Um, now we will spend quite a bit of money sending out that um, the expedition over here. Uh, so an undiscovered plant species. Uh, feel free to stop and read any of the flavor text. We could get more prestige or we could gain some progress. And uh, obviously I am going to just uh, lean into that progress. We do have some uh, debt. So I'm going to go ahead and let my finances catch up just a little bit. Torpedo boats. Very cool. What are we researching right now? Floating harbor. Uh, doesn't sound necessary. Let's go ahead. Production is generally where you want to focus your efforts on. Threshing machine would be a good one. Vulcanization. We have aniline. Okay, so that means we can actually get a couple of synthetics manufactories as well. We also need to get some power plants up. Let's go ahead and get started on some of those power plants because uh, we're going to need them. Let's go with Minnesota. Kansas for to start off. That's going to put us in the red again, but that's okay. We'll make it work out. The miracle of life. Take care of the baby. Delay the expedition or gain minor progress. Say no more. A circular expedition. Uh, hopelessly lost or back on track. Well, I say we uh we don't do that. And that's that's how these expeditions work out. Is it's basically just you get a couple things that pop up over and over again, and uh, you figure it out as you go. Now Virginia has very low market access. That infrastructure is terrible. But uh, it looks like the main issue is that our railways are not up to snuff. So I was actually taking a look in the off time here because it's been like a week and a half since I've recorded this. Urban centers are currently using personal transportation only. But if I switch it over to trams, according to this, we'll make an extra 176,000 um, pounds. Uh, so obviously we'll switch over to that. That's not... That's not entirely appropriate. It's, it's definitely not entirely appropriate, but we will switch over there. Uh, yeah, this mod here changes that. I have a mod. I have a mod that changes a couple of the more... Um, uh, the uh, What are they called? PMs? Yes, PMs. Okay. Anyways, uh, we also need to come over to our development here, and let's switch this over to wooden passenger cars. It will take more wood, but it will give us more transport. 
We lose some infrastructure, but that's okay. It also frees up a lot of employers, employees, which I think may be the actually main issue going on over here is that there's just not enough people. Yeah, we don't need to expand this. We just need more people to be working there. That's the issue we're running into. And as the market access goes up, let's also make sure we're building some ports because I think a lack of ports will cause issues with that as well. Looks like I'm actually getting those guys going right now. And you can see the market access should slowly go up. It's slowly going up in a few of these guys. What's going on over here? Yeah, again, same thing. We don't need, we just need people to be working at these railways. Okay. So we need, do we have coal, wood, and engines? If we have coal, wood, and engines, we should be good. Definitely need more engines and explosives. And coal, I think we're going to go back to that. And then what about wood? Uh, definitely have enough wood. Yeah, I don't really understand why those guys are not, uh, why they're crashing like that. That is not appropriate. Let's see here. Definitely need more engines, though. And I think that's also an issue of things not having enough employees. So, yeah, here you go. More tolls. Yep, free up the laborers. That's the main thing we need to be doing in general is uh, switching over and freeing up workers to basically put them into the... Um, the the uh, the railroads. That's that's kind of what's going on here. Circular expedition. Wait for nightfall. Swollen river. Fifty fifty. Uh, I'd rather just be safe. I let it let it go slowly over slowly but over time. Uh, this is okay. A little bit of peril for some progress is probably for the best. And uh, it's it's this market access. That's really what's hurting our GDP here. You can see it's going up still, but it's a a bit stagnant. It is a bit a bit stagnant. So Alpheus Harris here is still doing well. Um, do we want to reform anything? Doesn't look like it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Eh, whatever. I guess not. So yeah, damn, man. Unable to fully hire. So it's something about qualifications, huh? So how do we get qualifications? Literacy, wealth, and discrimination are common and deciding factors. Okay, I'm pretty sure we have multiculturalism, right? We do. Okay. I am going to have to cut taxes. I believe that we have high taxes. So let's cut those down. And as we finish up these guys, that will be much better off. Um, consumption taxes are probably reasonable in my opinion. Yeah, these guys are just super, super expensive to build the, the electricity. So our glassworks are also struggling here in Rhode Island. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, so Rhode Island, what's going on with you guys here then? Well, I, I don't get it. It just says zero. All right, well, let's get rid of them then. And uh, now we've got nothing being constructed, so we should probably do that. Let's get more coal, apparently. Uh-huh. Plenty of coal to be working on. Let's get some in Ohio. Pennsylvania definitely has a market. My goodness. Let's go with North Carolina as well. And just like that, with our construction queue maxed out, we're still making decent money, which is nice. Platinians are heading to New York. Very cool. A defensive pact with France. I think that sounds good to me. Um... 50-50, huh? Medium peril we have right now. So let's go ahead and just slightly delay that. And a bear, huh? Okay. All right. Minor progress is good. Well, I will take that. Expensive military goods. Let's see here. We also have threshing machines, which I think we can use right here. Yes. Very good. So more toll... Uh, what is this called? Tools and coal. But it frees up laborers. Obviously, that is a useful one. Um, we have a lot of laborers tied up in our farms here. Okay. I don't actually know if publicly traded versus privately owned is the way, but I just do it just because the capitalists increase your, um, temporarily, temporary revenue, your, uh, whatchamacallit, investment pool. It ends up being quite lucrative. Yeah, we can definitely do this. This will free up quite a bit as well. We've got a ton of transportation, so why not just use it? 
Especially on these guys like this. All right. We actually definitely need some more sugar plantations, so let's do that. These guys are being used uh, pretty heavily for um, for food production. So a little bit of that. So basically, we're just kind of going through, kind of shuffling around some stuff, seeing what works and what doesn't. Yeah, like all these labors definitely need to be freed up. So let's free up those labors here. Uh, hopefully that will make at least a dent in what we're working with here. Um, let's see here. Electric arc process for steel, mechanized farming, nitrogen fixation. Let's go ahead and get working on tractors, huh? I definitely want to figure this issue out. See, the numbers are kind of like shuffling around a bit. Like, I, I don't know if we really need them or not. But we'll build a couple more out here. But like Virginia, what's going on with Virginia? Why is this railway not hiring? I have to know. And I can't. The railway won't hire because they don't have motors. The motor places are not hiring for some reason. I don't know why. Why you do this? Why are you guys laying off, huh? That will finish it. Very good. The Great Salt Lake. Wonderful news, huh? So we have mapped it, yes. So we've mapped it. I've seen this, but it makes it so you have to map it twice. I don't really know why, but this guy's an explorer now. So it should go quicker the second time. I think you might need to do multiple just to uh, to ensure that you're able to, uh, I don't know, <laughs> get it done appropriately, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, you have to do it twice, I'm pretty sure. Either way, it's okay. A new quest, huh? Let's go with peaceful intentions. Barter with them. Reduce peril, but we'll delay or gain some progress. I'll well, take the progress. Sounds good to me. Wildlife photography. No, anything that's going to give us progress. Let's just go ahead and take it. Now, Britain likes me, yes? What is my opinion with you? Genial, huh? Desirable ally, but you don't want an alliance, huh? Okay. Seems appropriate. Because, yes, this Oregon border dispute will give us, uh, what is this, the 48th parallel or, or 52nd? I, I can't remember what the name of this this border is, but, um, ah, nice. I can't recall the exact name for it. Circular path, wait for nightfall. Uh, it's honestly this low military access that's really kind of causing me the issues here. And New York has insufficient taxation, so, or inefficient, right? That will free up quite a bit of more money. I mean, New York is by far our most productive state as in terms of taxes. The Arkansas flood, huh? Oof, what the heck? 45,000? No, thank you. I'm not paying that. That is a huge deficit. We cannot afford that. All right. And we're still losing a ton of engines and explosives. But if I recall, so our glass factories are back to being productive. Like, what is this? Why is this not working? Improved fertilizers, huh? So it changes the laborers over to machinists and engineers. It says we do not have enough qualifications. I don't actually know how to get people to be qualified. Could it be like universities? I don't know. I really don't know. So what does a university give us? Okay, so it gives plus 10 qualifications. Okay, so let's just try building a few more of these then, yeah? I really don't know if it's the way or not. I have no idea what universities do. A mountain is sighted. Let's just uh, make progress. Progress, progress, progress. We shall not stand in the way of progress. We also need ironclads. I've been seeing that one popping up here. We have these guys started. Let's go ahead and get more ironclads built. And uh, we also need clippers, apparently. Who is using clippers still? Port, wharves, and whaling stations. Okay. So let's see here. Ports. I want you guys to be doing industrial. That way they'll use steamers instead. But I don't think I'm constructing steamers, right? That would be these guys uh, over here. No. I am constructing steamers. 
Okay. So yeah, we need to switch these guys over. Like you guys over here are on Steam taller, trawlers or whatever. Okay, steamers. Yeah, so these guys have been changed. It's the ports that have not. So let's switch over to industrial ports. That frees up more laborers as well. And that may cause some issues, but uh, we'll figure that out in a moment. Import demand. Let's see. Can I get some explosives? I cannot, man. I really need explosives. That's our issue. Hmm. Well, naval bases are, are on the ironclads. Monitor gives what? More offense and defense at the cost of more ammo. No. Yes, more ammo and more ironclads. That's fine. I don't mind that. Okay. Uh, monitors was successfully completed. Okay. Still low peril going on over there. Uh, let's go ahead and hunt it. We gain peril. Unfortunate. I need to figure out this. Okay, so New York has built those buildings, but it still needs a little bit more taxation. So we're gaining a bit more money from taxation than we were before, but still not enough. Unproductive trade routes must be eradicated. Okay, so yeah, these numbers, like the one in Virginia is going up. But like, do we have a fully... My railways are hiring now, which is nice. So this one's fully hired. Navy defense, shipyards, throughput, huh? So we can build more at the cost of trade center building throughput. Uh, let's just do the trade center. <laughs> I mean, our economy is honestly what matters the most to me at the moment. So, like, if we're looking at this, like Pennsylvania. Oh, hey, some Victoria, Victoria 2 music here. Let's take a list. I love this song. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so this is like the Waltz of Johan or Johan's Waltz, I think. So, like, this guy here... The cash reserves are filling up, but the employment is on its way. So obviously we need a little bit more up here because infrastructure... Okay, we don't need two more. But um, I think... I mean, you guys are going to have to forgive me. I'm kind of bumbling through this as we go as well. I don't really know exactly how this works. So keep in mind, the game just came out like a couple of days ago. I have hours in it, but not uh, not as many, not as, many as some uh, content creators. So like this guy here... Let's expand you one, and then this guy here needs expanded as well. Okay, so it looks like most of these guys are actually employing now, which is good. What are we, gardeners? We have medium peril. We need to be careful about that peril. That could be bad for us. An election coming up, miracle of life. So New York is basically done now. Let's also make sure we are keeping our... Um, our army's just ready to go at a moment's notice. Charismatic, huh? Morale recovery. This guy is home offense. Okay, let's go with you. And then down in the south here, we'll get uh, Hugh Ratcliffe, huh? No, let's go with Michael Sears. It's just funny because the pool, it just lets you pick from either one of them. So, like, you can get Robert E. Lee in, like, New England. It's just kind of funny. Uh, yeah, let's. we already have high peril over here, so let's be care about this. Very good. And uh, Swollen River, 50% safe or not. Let's just go ahead and play it safe. Filing cabinets. I love bureaucracy. Anybody who knows me knows I love bureaucracy and the American government. And there's a few things in this world that are just as exciting for me. All right. Yes, we need to make sure we are... Oh, my gosh. These numbers just keep going down and more down. All right, let's protect our domestic supply here. Engines is bad, though, man. We need more engines. I swear. Yes, like, what is this? Florida, why you no make engines? Florida, why you do this? What do I need to do for this? How do I know? Please leave a comment if you know. How do I know? They have no peasants and no unemployed. That's why. So, yeah. Florida is actually a bad state for this. So let's take a look here. Is there anything in Florida that we can be automating that will make this easier for us? First of all, yes. Let's make that publicly traded. Improved fertilizers is fine. No. So this is... Okay. So some we actually can upgrade some of these guys. So let's just get rid of this guy in Florida. We don't need you. You suck and you, I hate you. Oh, that's an... 
What am I doing here? All right, same thing with the Utah one. We're just going to clean this up a little bit. We definitely need these chemical fertilizer plants. So Florida has no... Okay, so we're just going to get rid of the stuff in Florida. Texas is going to become a brine electrolysis, electrolysis to get us more explosives. It says we're going to lose money. That's not actually completely accurate, I don't believe, which is fine. We have an election, and we have Adolphus, uh, or Adolphus, Alpheus Harris has been re-elected um, with the People's Party and the Socialist Party of America on the way. He is a reformer, and he is endorsing cultural exclusion. That doesn't sound very uh, reformist to me. Endorses propertied women. So let's see here. He endorses propertied women. We could do some regulatory bodies. I don't know if that's actually a good thing or not, to be honest with you. We have no migratory controls, which is probably for the best. Huh, I really don't know. I would love to get a professional army, but I don't think that's going to happen as the U.S. I really want proportional taxation. That would be great for our economy. You can actually see here, if you hover over this, it says we'll make an extra estimated $80,000 which is uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. So those guys are finishing up and as they employ, they should gain quite a bit more. Now, okay. I need to figure out a way. Okay, baking powder, definitely, what the heck? Yeah, we need more groceries, what am I doing? We also need, these guys are like not prosperous at all. So let's upgrade these. And that should make it quite a bit better for us in terms of profit because we'll be making a lot more alcohol. So yeah, we got to figure out these engines, the engine plants. That is that is our issue here. So like North Dakota here, does it say? So it says zero peasants and five unemployed. This though, Minnesota has got some. So we'll go ahead and upgrade Minnesota. Wisconsin does not. Texas does not. So none of these guys have any employees that they can be hiring according to that, right? Hopefully I'm reading that right. I think I am. I could be completely wrong. Um, we need more explosives and we need coal as well. All right, so let's get some more explosives then. I think that just means there are peasants in Indiana. Let's go ahead and make you guys publicly traded as well. So Indiana, why are you guys laying people off? Like that's what I need to know. Why is their cash reserves going down? Sulfur and iron. Do we have sulfur and iron for the inputs? We have sulfur. We have iron. And as far as I know, there are people in those places to work it, right? So Indiana. Why are you... Oh, well, Indiana, for one, is a fertilizer place, which is uh, obviously not that important for us. Let's come on over to Illinois, for example. Illinois has no peasants, but... And this will only increase... Okay. So we do need to transfer a couple of these guys, like Ohio. We just need more explosives. We don't need fertilizer. We have plenty of fertilizer. We definitely need more electricity as well. So let's make sure that we are getting our electricity sector expanded. These guys are both profitable at the moment. So let's make sure they're publicly traded as well. Okay. The Western Frontier Expedition is almost finished. Very good. A stable power of or supply of power for five years. Power plant throughput. Technology, electric railways, or steam turbine. Interesting. Let's just go ahead and take a little bit of extra power for now. Now I don't really look at the 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 journal a whole lot, honestly. Like what is the point of this? Is this role play? Because railways don't have to be connected. It means nothing. It just increases the infrastructure. Urbanize. Okay, so I definitely do want to do this because that is the process that we're doing right now that is causing us these issues where, like, we are having problems keeping our boys over here employed. So is the issue that... Yeah, I think the issue is just that there's too many buildings in Virginia. I think that's the problem that I'm running into. So, like, let's get rid of these guys here and see how that affects it, right? That should free up people to come work in the iron mines. It should free up people to go work at the railways. Okay. Construction sector is probably not helping either. Let's go ahead and get rid of the construction sector and build it somewhere else. So that 
instantly puts that up to 78. Yes. Okay. So that's the issue. That is the issue. It's just like we are building way too many things. Uh, the intelligentsia. So who do I care about more? The intelligentsia or the industrialists? Who are our boys? It looks like they are one in the same right now. The People's Party, the Petite Bourgeois wants to join, but they shall not because they are unhappy and it actually won't let us. Oh, it will let us. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's totally fine with me then. So we are up to 19% chance. Peaceful intentions here. Oh, it's up here now. Okay. Uh, yes, perfect. And peaceful intentions. Nice. So... Here we go. The Oregon Treaty. You can see a most amicable agreement. Idaho, uh, Washington, and Oregon will become a Yankee homeland. And just like that, the lower 48 are united. That's beautiful, huh? So, intelligentsia or industrialists, who, does it care, who do we care about more? I really don't think it matters at this point. Let's take a look here. Intelligentsia, they both like us. Let's go with the intelligentsia, I suppose. That way we can possibly... We can possibly, possibly get a positive from them no because if they're happy sometimes they'll give you these bonuses you know like society costs or whatever okay uh we still need electricity we need more groceries as well apparently so yeah like you guys have a lot of unemployed like tennessee's got a lot of peasants so let's go ahead and send you guys over there vacuum canning costs more engineers but gives you a lot more interesting Need more coal, apparently. More coal. Is that true? I feel like I have a lot of coal. We need oil. No doubt we need oil. Let's protect our supply of coal here. That should help a bit with that. Our engine market is absolutely just collapsing. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. So these guys are productive. I can build a couple more here. That'll work. These guys are productive, but they don't have much more to expand into. Neither do these guys. So, yeah. Like, it seems like Minnesota is good. North Dakota, maybe. But, like, overall, it, death and taxes, huh? Enactment time, but we gain more chance. Or enactment time. Okay, yeah, this is fine. I, I don't mind it taking a little bit longer as long as it happens, right? So, let's see here. Hawaii. Hawaii is a puppet of the UK. That is completely unacceptable. And I think we can purchase Alaska if the Ruskies are default or taking loans. So let's go ahead and improve with the Ruskies. They like us, which is nice. Now, who are you guys friendly with, huh? They're improving relations with the Ruskies. I was thinking they might make a good puppet for us. 90 infamy. Mine got. Mexico, Honduras, and Canada. I don't care about e any of that. We are the number one power, actually. By the way, number one. GDP over the Great Qing and significantly over Great Britain. That's kind of nuts. Standard of living is pretty solid. It's respectable. Yeah, it's been steadily going up over the years. All right, cool. I can take that. Expensive military goods, inefficient taxation. Yeah, what is going on with you guys? I think we're having the issue again where we just have too many things going on over here. Let's, um... Yeah. Yeah, like, let's get... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Like, let's get rid of these, uh, guns industries. I think that is an issue. Um, we need more steel, glass. Okay, we need a bunch of stuff, man. So, like, Massachusetts doesn't have any more employees. Neither does Ohio. You guys do. And this will give us still a ton more glass. So let's go ahead and go with Maryland. Pennsylvania's got uh, nothing. Hmm. I don't really know how this is working. I, I'm winging it. I'm winging it. Uh, we definitely need more paper, but we can bleach the paper. Yeah, let's do that. And then... We need to build synthetic plants and or get more dye out of these plantations. These guys, yeah. Let's just go ahead and uh, get a little bit more dye out of our plantations. Yes. Sounds good. 
We are queued up, finally making some money, which is nice. Gold fields have been depleted, so that means we can actually put some more effort into minting. I missed this before. Yes, I can build gold mines, and I didn't even realize it. So let's build up a ton of gold mines. Basically as many as we can. That basically is like EU4, where you just get profit. It's just stonks, right? Uh, so that is good. <laughs> uh huh. I don't care about uh, the petite bourgeois, so I can get rid of them. Or make them, you know, tell them to buzz off, I suppose. All right, so Canada would join them. That's fine. Um, Alexander Reynolds, huh? Where are you based out of, man? All right, let's get some barracks. So that should be good. The issue is... Okay, I say we try this. Go for the puppet play. It's a lot of infamy, uh, which will make us a pariah. Huh. Okay, we gotta be, we gotta play it safe, but I think we're good. As long as nobody else major intervenes. It looks like the French would. The British are considering it though. How about I call in an obligation for the French and get them in? Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. They may actually just back down then, if that's the case. Let's see here. I could actually probably, I wonder. I wonder. Ah, we can't do it. I was gonna say it would be really nice to puppet um to puppet um Canada as well, but we cannot. Let's add let's add Honduras on there. So it looks like Yeah, it's just Yeah, I honestly I think we're good. Um as long as nobody major intervenes. So Spain has intervened on their behalf. So you know what, Spain? How about this? You will transfer your subject of Cuba to me now. And I think now I've become a pariah. So this is my power play. This is our power play that we're going for. And we are going to try for it. Oh, Spain backed out because they didn't want to give up Cuba. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. They backed out. Wait a minute. It says I'll still get it. I am Confucian. All right, let's mobilize our generals. And uh, let's get our boys advancing the front here. Robert E. Lee advancing the Canadian front. The classic. Thomas Jackson, Michael Sayers down here on Mexico. And uh, we should be good. And they back down. Perfect. That is it. That is it. Mexico is a puppet of the United States. And that means, essentially, for the rest of the game, they will be paying us. Um, they will, first of all, we gain access to their market, which is nice because we need a lot of dyes and stuff. And they have a lot of dyes, right? Uh, I think you can see if you come down to like a lot of these. Uh, well, you see they have a capacity for it. So they have a lot of dye plantations. So that that will definitely help out our market. Where are we at here? Um, dyes, 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 dyes. Right? No, that's alcohol. Sell the alcohol. We've got plenty to sell. Uh-huh. And where's the alcohol or the dyes? Am I tripping? I definitely don't see them. We need more artillery as well. So let's go ahead and get some urban goods. Let's uh, see here. How are you guys doing? Oh, I got rid of my uh, I got rid of my cannon place. So yeah, Virginia. Mm hmm. So we have a lot of small arms production. But not any artillery. How is our small arms overall? Still lacking, honestly. Okay, so let's see here then. We've got some peasants in Michigan. So Michigan will become my new um, artillery place for breech loaders. Okay. That should work eventually. We're just going to have to right wait it out. Uh, enactment chance 10%. And uh, petite, petite Bourgeois and Intelligentsia lose some interest. That's fine with me. Input good shortage of artillery. Yep, that's understandable. I deleted them. I didn't realize it. Unproductive trade routes now, though. That is an issue that we're going to have to... We're going to have to sort that out. Though it's nice that our economy is good. 
California, huh? How are you guys doing on your... We have a lot of peasants in California. So let's go ahead and switch you guys over to steel frame. And get like... Oops, not that. Get you guys a few more. Trying to kind of switch over my workforce from one state that's unproductive to other states that are more productive. That That's my thought process, at least. We also need to lower our taxation. And once we enact per capita taxation, it's going to be even better. So that is all the better. Afro-Americans are migrating to the state of Haiti and its surrounding states. Okay. Oh, yeah. All these gold mines. Take a look at our income. Watch, watch this uh, minting number go up. And we've got proportional taxation. Oh, we're so rich. We are so rich. Holy smokes. Hold on a minute. Hold up. Look at minting, though. As we finish these guys, it's just going to go up, 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 up. And it's, gonna, it's just going to keep going up. 145 right now uh, as we finish this round. Come on, baby. Keep it going. It's not a 153. There's a few more going either, even as well. 155. Yeah, you can see it. Even after I just built up that many things, we are still way more out in front. Uh, dangerous equipment. I don't care. You'll get over it. So these guys like me enough. That's why I couldn't um, I couldn't subjugate them. It's because they liked me. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. All right. So let's see here. We're going to get those artillery factories built up. And we're also going to need, we need, oh my gosh, why am I losing so much of this? I am so confused. Sold by coal mines. Pop needs, okay. Trade routes. Ah, that is my issue. Okay. Yeah, I should probably take a look at some of my trade routes. Let's, let's get rid of this one. Selling a lot of coal to the French. So I need to cut this one with the British as well if I can. Can I? I just can't? Yeah, it doesn't look like I can. Okay. Well, let's cut that one. Obviously, we need to cut that one. So that's a big one. That should, oh, yeah. It frees up so much. Okay. So what is this then? I'm not selling any steel. So steel, we need to we need to build more steel. Explosives, am I selling any? Trade routes, I'm selling eight. Engines. Trade routes, I'm selling twenty. Yeah, so it's it's engines and steel are not being lost; they're just not being made in the first place. Okay, so Florida man has no no peasants, so that's no good. No peasants. No peasants. PA, we're going to have to figure out how to get you guys a little more automated, right? This is hardwood. We don't need as many coals. So let's get some boys out of the coal mines in Pennsylvania. And hopefully that will allow them to, to go into other other positions, right? Um, same... Oh, man. We, as soon as I figure out how to get this stuff working again, like we'll be in a, such a better spot. It's so like Virginia is looking better now. So I assume that they're good. Yes. And the railway here is ready to get upgraded. Ohio railway is ready to get upgraded as well. Illinois is ready to get upgraded. Wisconsin. We're ready to get upgraded. Very good. Kansas. Why is this one Kansas? And this one is not our Kansas. America is plain. All right. That is good as well. Texas. Let's add two there. These guys, it's these gold mines. Finally need some uh, some infrastructure to handle these gold mines, apparently. All right, Nevada, give you two. And California will also get one. And that should free up quite a bit of uh, market access, which would allow us to be much more productive. Let's sell uh, to the Ruskies, right? We want the Ruskies to like us a bit. So this is fine. I suppose we could make our way down um, down the south here. So like these guys are allied to Guatemala. 
Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Mosquito Kingdom. So I'd be able to add all of those guys to my puppet. And New Granada would join them as well. So this is actually kind of fine. Because I can make a puppet of Nicaragua, make a puppet of Honduras, make a puppet of El Salvador. And if, if New Granada decides to join, I can make a puppet of them. Not bad, huh? So, let's uh, make sure that I have an Admiral up here. Because we're going to need to land some men more than likely. If we go to war down this way. Uh, let's go with military. Let's see here. Bolt action rifle. Eh. Society feminism. More minting is good. That's that's free money, dude. That is free money. Have I still not? How is my um? Excuse me. I definitely built them. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, they're not built yet. Derp. Yeah, that makes sense. Nobody's joined on their side yet. They want war reps. That's it. Cool. Oh, and they... <laughs> Dang it, man. All right, so these guys... I guess we're just going to keep on going down the row. <laughs> uh, all right, this is fine. And uh, again, to add a war goal, make puppet, make puppet. Now, this doesn't... If, if they accept... I don't gain the infamy from the demand. All right. New Granada decided to join as well. So let's go ahead and puppet them. And I think that's probably going to be it. Everyone else is like very hostile with me. I can't really afford any more infamy. People are going to start um, having words, I would say. Okay. Very good. Now, if they don't back down. Won't back down. Let's make sure I'm not sending the wrong guy here. Okay, this is good. These guys are going to... No, you need to go to this other front over here. Very good. And... Did New Granada back out? Nope, they're still there. My boys didn't get there in time, but they're on their way. So then what we need to do is take uh, Yob... Or Job or Yob or whatever. Fits, Fitsu? And we're going to do some, uh, we're going to take Thomas Jackson here and we're going to land on Anti Anti Antioquia. Antioquia. And uh, yeah, the rest is just going to get pushed by these other boyos because that is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We've got our uh, sufficient guns and we've got our sufficient cannons. We have sufficient ammunition as well. Am I selling a lot of this? Trade routes, I'm only selling five yeah okay so we just need more wood so we'll see here oh my goodness gracious can i do this electricity would give me a lot more wood we have electricity and tools heck yeah bro let's go ahead and do it steam donkey as well to free up some laborers and rail for more laborers and then sure more uh capitalists i was gonna say communists certainly not the one i'm thinking of and um free up some of that we've got plenty of those guys so we should be fine our army is winning certainly and uh, thomas jackson will be landing in 12 days apparently i was on speed one and i didn't realize it that would explain why things were going so slowly all right we have we are trying to land here our offense is literally dog water difficult landing yeah a bit of a difficult landing all right so that's a failure that's okay though all right, let's get our other guy mobilized down here. Make sure we are covering all of our fronts. Those guys got encircled. All right, so we're making our way down. Uh, Job Fritz, let's go with a naval invasion down to uh, this, this place instead. We'll sail all the way around the continent. We need more electricity, food. Okay, I'm selling a lot of our grain, though. So I should probably trade routes okay so then i go to how do i what's the quick way to do this i'm just trying to find out like the best way to navigate around here like so trade routes i say okay 
So clearly I'm I'm selling these guys on a trade route. Is there a quick way to go to my trade routes and clear them? It doesn't look like it. I think I have to click on market, go to trade routes, scroll down to grain. Oh, they're buying it. I don't have a say. Right, because we have an open market. Okay. Now, to be fair, we don't really have a whole lot of wheat farms. So let's go ahead and just get some wheat farms going. Oh, they have no peasants. We can't do that. All right, let's actually go ahead and just, just have Oklahoma be our wheat farms. And there you go. And these guys will... Push through here, um, steamroll through those guys. They're actually doing like quite a good job of defending themselves. I'll give it to them. These guys will be landing down here. And uh, yeah, you can see our offense is not good. Their defense is not that good either, but yeah, the difficult landing penalty is really punishing for us. So we're going to have to start like really pushing through. Let's have you guys push this front up here. See if we can get some breakthrough. Looking good. All right. We finally got some breakthrough. And I will, again, let's, let's try for Panama this time. See if that one works. I do hope you guys appreciate the long episode. Like I said, as long as there's interest, I want to make sure I'm doing it for you guys. All right. Finally, we have the ticking war score. Uh-huh. And we are pushing. And finally, we landed down in Central America, down here in Panama. So that means we should get a ticking war score for Colombia. We puppeted El Salvador. We will now puppet Honduras and uh, Nicaragua eventually here. Robert E. Lee, you're going to need to push over here. Oof. Hold on a minute. No, I lied. Robert E. Lee, I want you to be pushing over here. Oh, no, never mind. We're good. And my uh, guys keep jumping off their front lines. It's kind of annoying. All right, let's see here. Opium, rubber, and ironclads. I don't know if I can do anything about rubber. Let's see here. Sugar. Whaling, I think we could probably get oil, right? Yeah, let's get some more oil from whaling. The progressive party. All right. We are such a Alpheus Harris, the, another third term, three term president this time, uh, about as legitimate as, um, certain presidents in American history. Let's take a look here. Progressives and the socialists are good. Intelligentsia, not so good. So yeah, let's get the wigs out. 80% is all right. The armed forces won in as well. The socialists, the progressives, and the armed forces joining together. Let's see here. Can we get some professional army? Not really. Um, shoot, man. It might be about time. Getting some worker protections might help us out with our uh, standard of living, though. It has gone up quite a bit. Social security may also be good. Technology spread, but not as much authority. Eh, it's not as useful for us. I do think I kind of want to switch back to interventionism. Interventionism. I think it's uh, better, in my opinion. Also, I don't think we need this consumption tax anymore. And we can pay our government workers a bit more. Nicaragua has been puppeted as well. And uh, that only leaves Mosquito Kingdom in Costa Rica. And of course, we are going to be pushing through Colombia here. Oh yeah, our offense is good. Oh my goodness, these guys are getting shredded. And uh, hopefully we can get this. We're going to have to push them a bit more. I think we need to get to... Um, where are we at here? Need to get all the way down to... Uh, is that uh, Bogota? I think it's Bogota, right? Why is it not um, showing? But yeah, once we get that, we can now pump oil as well. Central planning gives taxation capacity, so let's go with that as well. We are dominating them, but uh, we are gaining war exhaustion. Let's see if we can get another naval landing. All right, and as far as we need more electricity, definitely need more more fish as well. 
Lots of peasants in New York still. Some peasants in Maryland. A couple in Delaware. A couple in Jersey. Not so much Rhode Island. Yeah, getting the fish production up is going to be useful. That'll help out with food. Where are we at over here? Ay, ay, ay. Four days? There we go. We landed unopposed because they brought up all their men. And just like that, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. They're going to plummet down to zero. They will be puppeted by us, and we will have basically everything minus Costa Rica and the Mosquito Kingdom in uh, Central America under one banner. Pax Americana, right? This is what we're looking for, at least. At the cost of what, though? We are now a pariah, and uh, basically it means everybody in the world hates us. Um, Paul Winthrop gets recognized orator. And the trade unions gain some uh, pop attraction, huh? Well, where does that leave us at, then? Trade unionists. The Socialist Party. Yeah, this is okay. He belongs to the progressives, but I think uh, the progressives and the socialists are... They, have, they can work together, right? Okay. So let's see here. Yeah, food and electricity. That is a big one. Electricity is a tough one to, to maintain because it, it is so expensive to build electricity. Lots of peasants there. Not so many in Minnesota, though. Let's see here. What about Washington State? Get 10 more in Washington State. Yeah, look how expensive they are. Not even my full queue, and I'm almost losing money. Though we do have a, a, a um, an extra now, so we can sw definitely start switching over a couple of these things. Okay, so this oil canning would be nice. Fish. The fish is a big one. Okay. I'm not going to risk it right now. <laughs> but this does free up a lot of stuff for our, uh, our economy here. You can see we're going to have a lot more of this stuff. Our market has a lot more um, tobacco, coffee, that sort of stuff in it that it did be didn't before. Maybe some dye as well. Nicaragua's got what? What do you guys got? Some dye. Not a whole lot, though, to be fair. Their economies are pretty weak sauce, but, like, these dye plantations, if they fill up, then that's good for us. That opens up our economy, right? Um, let's go ahead. Yeah, colonization. There's so much land to be taking over here. So let's declare some interests here. And where else we got? Hold on a minute. The East India Company is independent. You don't say. Well, that would explain why Britain fell so far. Where are we at? Number three still. My goodness. But our GDP has gone up. Oh my gosh, our GDP has gone up. How about it? Ooh-wee. Okay. And, and since we've cut taxes, our quality of life has gone up because people have more money to spend on nice goods like food and whatnot. So Sulawesi would be a nice um, nation, decentralized nation for us to colonize. So let's go ahead and get um, how many in interests can I declare? Does it say? One more? Um, Papua. Yeah, I guess that's probably fine. Yeah. Declare some interests down in uh, oh, down here. And let's uh let's start establishing some colonies. Attempt to sway. Paraguay is wants us to help them out in their revolt, huh? Do I give a rip? No, I I really genuinely don't. Let's establish some colonies down here. And one over here in Sulawesi. Yes. Yes. We're going colonial, baby. We have interventionalism as well, which is nice. Basically, it will help us with uh Kind of keeping it on the home front when it comes to economic stuff. Input good shortage. We need more opium. All right, let's import some opium. Can I... Intelligentsia will lose pro uh, political strength. That's probably good, considering the Whigs are opposition. So let's go ahead and go with that. The industrialists are very upset with us. But the trade unionists love us. We get a workforce ratio... And a manufacturing industry's throughput, which is um, significant, to say the least. 
We need more artillery as well. So let's go ahead and get more cannons. There you go, Michigan. Michigan. <clears throat> Michiganders. And I think... Electricity is on its way. Fiber as well. Or uh, what is that? We're going to need some more of that. Mechanized slaughterhouse. This gives us more meat. So yeah, let's go ahead and take that. And electric fences... Cuts back on laborers as well. Cost of electricity and iron. That is fine. Tractors, huh? So even less laborers, but more engines and coal. I think that's reasonable. And this one frees up again. More laborers. So I think that's the move. Uh, but that obviously means we're going to need more engines. Uh, we definitely need more coal. Steel as well. So let's first start off with the steel. Because that's where... That's that's definitely where we need to be putting a lot of our effort into. We have no peasants in any of our steel states. Shaisa. Let's see here. Steel. We need electric arc furnace. It says we'll lose a ton of money on that, but look how many laborers. Oh, never mind. They'll be transferred over to different stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. New York still has a ton of peasants. All right. So, let's get a few more steel places built up, uh, factories, motor industries will go to the ones that are the most profitable and make sure that there are peasants or unemployed available. Texas has a couple, but that's about it. North Dakota. And what you got over here, I guess more in New York, Georgia, Oregon, you just got to spread out your industry. It's kind of how you got to do it. Uh, distributing food surplus, minimum wealth plus three or hey, throughput is always good for me. We've got some low market access, and we also have a ton of inactive trade routes. That's fine. Let's see here. Where are we at? Oh, yeah. Michigan is definitely growing up in terms of industrialization. So we're going to need to make sure we are keeping our infrastructure up nice and high over there. And uh, I think that is pretty good. Let's import some steel. No. Export some tools. No. Definitely okay with importing some of that. Some wine from the Ruskies. Italian, some fine Italian clothing and some fine Italian furniture. Why not, man? Why not? Why not? And then let's see what kind of our major things are. So it's glass. We need a lot more glass, man. All right, that's fine. We just don't have enough peasants. That's our issue. Not enough peasants. Maryland has plenty. So let's get you guys brought over there. Pennsylvania has none. All right, cool. Well, our economy is absolutely booming. Look how much we're making just from our puppets alone. We're making 37,000. Uh, we have puppeted basically all of Central America all the way down into Colombia, which is wonderful. Our economy is booming. We have got our borders sorted out up here. Uh, it would be nice if we could negotiate the Alaska Purchase, but uh, for some reason... Oh, right, yeah. The, Rus the Ruskies don't like me because I'm a pariah. But uh, that's okay. For some reason, I can click this button again, but I'm not going to do that. The first transcontinental railway, I suppose we can build it. Wyoming and Nebraska. So let's go ahead and build one in Nebraska and one in Wyoming and uh, get that journal entry over with. But guys, if you are excited for more to come and you appreciated one hour episode, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe for more because there is plenty more to come. If you haven't already joined my Discord, my subreddit, my Twitter, they're all linked in the description below as well as my Patreon where if you support me there, You'll get early access to Chubert vids, so it's a great way to support the channel and also get a little something in return for yourself. Uh, it's all very much appreciated. That is all I've got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.